we're going to talk pirates. Like and subscribe. That's the treasure. I knew I liked you. Yesterday we got an exclusive look at the skeleton crew from Entertainment Weekly showing pictures like this and like this, getting my hopes up for the show that hopefully don't bring me down. I'm hoping for a well thought, fleshed out, provocative show. I look at Star Wars. I'm looking for a swashbuckling good time. Maybe Donald Glover was right. Maybe we got to put the fun back into Star Wars if it was ever there to begin with. But that's another topic for another day. Production Weekly put out a list of all the productions going on, 35 pages of productions going on. I'll put that up right now. You can see here there are a couple productions at the bottom. There is Star Wars New Jedi Order, which presumably is the Ray movie. I guess production is ramping up on the Ray movie. <laughs> sure, I'll believe it when I see it. But also right beside it, Star Wars Pirates. Star Wars Pilots looks like it could be the next series on Disney Plus that we will be getting in the Star Wars universe. We know Iger said that they're going to tone down production one Star Wars show a year. This kind of works with it though, right? This can work with it because we're getting uh, Skeleton Crew in December, which will probably bleed into next year, and then we're getting Andor. And then Ahsoka Season 2 is said to begin shooting next uh, summer, so you might have some wiggle room for Star Wars Pirates in there as well, unless Star Wars Pirates is co-named for something else. But also, I heard a lot of rumblings from people that you shouldn't trust everything you read on production weekly. But pirates are a big part of Star Wars. I love pirates in Star Wars. So let's talk a little bit about pirates in Star Wars. Staging a rescue is not an inexpensive proposition. First of all, there's some great pirate characters. Hondo, Anaka, Crimson, Crosair... Maz Kanata, not so great, but, you know, she could have been great. Sarkin and Neb, so many great pirates. Star Wars is filled with them. Han Solo gets referenced to be a pi pirate a lot of times. Now we're getting Brutus, Pax, all Vane is a pirate. All those pirates from Mandalorian. So it has a vast, rich history of pirates, and I'm excited to see if this, ser if this is going to be a series. Look, it could be so much fun. Pirates and Star Wars, I said on the Rebels Come Podcast, episode 336, it took this long for them to do that. And I'm stoked for it. Get out of here, Vane. No. But I think it would make sense for the Space Pirate show, Star Wars Space Pirate show, to take place in the Mandoverse. I think it's going to connect with what we're getting from Skeleton Crew, which is part of the Mandoverse. And it's a great instability in the galaxy. After the fall of the Empire, but before the New Republic has fully solidified its power, the era is a lawless period where warlords, bounty hunters, and smugglers thrive. And space pirates would naturally have a place in this chaotic environment. Here's why a space pirate show would be a perfect fit. The Mandalorian has already explored the bounty hunting guild and the remnants of the Empire, but a pirate-focused series could shine a light on the smuggling roots, hidden treasures world, and lawless sectors of the galaxy. The pirate factions could be shown exploiting the weakened galactic order, scavenging from Imperial remnants, or New Republic convoys. Characters like Hondo Anaka have survived into the era of the New Republic, as shown in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Hondo's gang could easily be reintroduced, possibly even crossing paths with characters from The Mandalorian. The crossover potential between these groups could deepen the interconnected storytelling that Star Wars thrives on. After the fall of the Empire, much of the galaxy's resources are scattered. Pirate factions would be in constant race to claim territory, ships, and valuable cargo. A space pirate series could explore these treasure hunts, heists, and battles for supremacy, perhaps even involving the legendary Mandalorians in some form of uneasy alliance or rivalry. The Mandalorian already explores themes of honor, loyalty, and survival in a morally gray galaxy. A pirate show would allow even greater exploration of this space focusing on characters who are out for themselves, but occasionally drawn into larger conflicts. Pirates could be enemies one moment and allies the next, adding depth and unpredictability to the plot. Pirates in Star Wars are often multi-species and multicultural, bringing together a vibrant cast of characters. This offers room for creative designs and personalities, and each pirate crew could have their own unique aesthetic, ship, and backstory. This rich diversity would be a visual treat for Star Wars fans. 
Like The Mandalorian, a space pirate show could thrive on episodic adventures, each episode fit focusing on different heists, betrayal, or alliances. However, there could also be a larger narrative at play, perhaps a legendary treasure or a powerful weapon that several pirate factions are hunting for. This would keep viewers invested in both the short-term and the long-term stakes. In short, Star Wars Pirates makes the most sense. We can go back to episodic storytelling. We don't have to have, you know, a movie chopped up into eight pieces over, you know, seven, six, seven weeks, whatever they've been doing. We can have, you know, weekly episodes with a larger narrative at play. The characters fit right in. We've had the Mandalorian version of it. Now let's see the space version of it with them going. It could add so much more intrigue to the Star Wars universe, the Star Wars galaxy. And we're all leading in one direction. Where that lies, we don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.